This is a quick one, just to show you exactly what we do in terms of feeding, um, because we get lots of questions with regards to what exactly can macaws eat, how much do they eat, um, how do we prepare their food, etc. The amount that we give is exactly what you see before you. So this is one plum, one kiwi, one apple and one banana and that's enough to feed two macaws for an entire day. When you start, you'll obviously start with an empty but clean bowl, okay, something around about this size, around about five inches diameter. Once you've cut the plums, this is what it would look like. We then cut the kiwis next, place the kiwis on top and again it's all, the, the aim is to get it around about the size of your finger fingertip. You don't want to give them such small pieces that they don't satisfy their, their eating habits with, but you don't want to give them such large ones where they take a large chunk and drop the half of it onto the floor. Apples that follow this, again, they're all round about almost exactly the same size. And lastly, we have the banana that we place on top. We've kept the skin on all of our fruits here. So let's get started with the plum first. Simply, it has to be washed, all your fruits have to be washed. You must de-seed the plum and remove the, or de-pip the plum and remove the seeds from the apple as well because uh, they're said to be uh, toxic to macaws especially. We've removed the seed from the plum and now, just to show you, it's a very simple technique. We slice into four strips, okay, and then you slice into four strips across, that's three slices, one, two, three. That leaves you with, if you separate them out, pieces around about this size, which is exactly what you're looking for. Importantly, when you place the, the fruit in the bowl, you must make sure that you've separated the pieces out, otherwise if they stick together like these, like these, um, the macaws are most likely to drop one piece and eat one piece and it's a great great way of uh, building up your bill. Preparing the kiwi, we've taken off the top end and the bottom end and then you simply cut in half. It's best to use a serrated knife for soft fruit and you do exactly the same thing as with the plum. Three slices and then three slices and you're left with identical sized pieces, just like the, um, the plum. And they love, they absolutely love peeling away the flesh from the, from the skin. Next up is the apple. We use two different knives here because it's easier to cut. You must take a, a decor the apple or at least remove the seeds. Okay, that's your two apple pieces, halves. You place them on the backs and you just slice right across as many as you can. You'll, you'll have to judge the sizes because it's a bit harder with the apple. And you're left again with sizes like this, with the skin on. Really important to make sure that they're completely separated so that when they pick up a piece they take only one piece at a time. Lastly, you've got the banana. Take off the top end, bottom end, and now we just halve it right the way lengthwise. Okay, and that's really important to make sure that they're completely um, detached from each other. And then you just slice them right across with the skin on. Try to keep the width, the same sort of width that you've had with the kiwi and the plum. There you go, this is the sort of size you're looking for. And here's the bowl we've just made. Fills up the bowl completely, almost to the top. And that's enough food for a day for two macaws.